Hey yo, hello everybody, welcome back to the modded Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus series. We're gonna random ourselves today. Tough run on the last one. Uh, honestly, not the best. But today we're gonna get a Samson run. These are usually easy wins, but what the hell do I know at this point? Uh, K3MM7YC3. Give me a weird run, C3PO. You have blessed this run. Same with Yoda. Mmm. Blessed run we have. Uh, and hopefully, that means that we can get some good modded items, uh, and also just have a good time. So, what do we got in here? Uh, yeah, okay, Capricorn is a pretty decent start, I'd say. Uh, give me that tears up, give me that damage up, and allow me to move on with my day. Not an XL floor? Beautiful. Let's come in here. Okay, dead cat, sure, give me the guppy gups early as well. This run's already shaping up to be pretty damn okay. How are you guys doing? I'm doing pretty good. Uh, I'm in like a significant amount of pain all over my body, uh, which I'm sure I will end up talking about this on stream, but never go golfing when you've never gone golfing like ever in your life uh, because it uses a lot of muscles that you never use literally anywhere else. So it basically results in your back killing you, uh, your ribs killing you, blisters all over your hands that kill you, I literally have three band-aids wrapped around my hands right now uh, because I just have like four giant blisters all over my hands. Uh, so that's a good time. I'm, you know, I'm only crying through the pain a little bit. I'm kidding. It's not that bad. Uh, but it's been a it's been a long couple of days doing some beautiful recordings here. So let me grab this key. Uh, and let's go fight our boss. And I'm excited for a deal with the devil on the next floor because honestly, it could just spiral us out of control. Uh, if we get a good deal. I mean, Guppy early on. You give me Guppy's head uh, and, like, Guppy's tail. And we're going to be in one damn good spot on this run. So, I'm excited. I know we got hit, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, I would prefer if we didn't get hit again because I don't really want to restart this Little Horn fight. But, not the end of the world if we do. We got nine lives. Curse of Darkness is super annoying. I can actually barely see this guy. Curse of Darkness plus Burning Basement basically means, hey, don't expect to see ever. Here's a new item. This is Cornucopia. Uh, let's look this up real quick just so you guys know what it does. I know what the majority of all these items do. Uh, corn. I'll just search that. Okay, apparently that's not enough. Now I have to try to figure out how to spell Cornucopia. Oh, hey, I did it. Cornucopia. This is a mod by Custom Phase. Uh, and what it does is it spawns a set of consumables at the start of each floor. Uh, which... You know, honestly sounds really, really powerful, uh, but generally just a good item. It's powerful, but it's not enough to uh, completely change a run per se. So here we go. Uh, we'll take all this. Thanks a ton. Something's wrong. Yes, it is. Uh, I'm going to stick with the weird beard we got on Samson right now. It actually looks pretty fantastic, but thanks a ton for at least giving me the opportunity to change it. I appreciate it, game. And we'll... Uh, We'll get going here. So we got half a spirit heart. I mean, there are benefits there called deal with the devil. Um, but hopefully we can get even more HP before this deal with the devil. Uh, just so we can push comes to shove. Uh, take a lot of items from a deal if there are a lot of items in said deal. One bomb right here gives us a lot of benefit. One bomb for a bomb, three keys, and a penny is a pretty good life. We don't really need duct tape or tissue paper or whatever that was, uh, because we don't have anything to use it with. So no reason for me to get super hyped about that when it really does not benefit my life. Instead, we will get clicker. Clicker is not a good item. And I honestly don't really even see a good reason to use it right now. I think Samson is about as easy of a character as we can get. So as long as we, you know, want a run that can end up turning into a win, I see no good reason for us to pop the clicker here. So we'll carry this until we get a better item. Uh, and hopefully that better item is something along the lines of, you know, the nail from a deal with the devil. Uh, Satanic Bible from a deal with the devil. Tammy's head from a golden chest, something like that. Uh, once we get that, there's no reason for us to hold on to Clicker anymore. So, we'll carry it for now, get it out of the rotation of items, 
Uh, crappy hit right there. Do not hit me again or else I'm going to be legitimately livid. Why do you do these things to me? Uh, and then deal with the devil. As long as you contain one item instead of two, we'll be fine. Little Steven sucks. And then, okay, sure, yeah. Um, this is a weird one, honestly. Take Judas's shadow. I know that everything... Okay, now we go back in. Now we take uh, Lord of the Pit. Everything in me... Really, do you really want me to take plan C as well? You know what? Go for it. Continue to kill me. We're trying to get rid of our lives now anyway. Uh, am I literally about to spend all of my lives just to get Dark Judas? The answer to that is actually yes. Um, a lot of people will disagree with me on this and say, hey, stupid. Uh, you have something good for and going for you. You have HP. You have lives. Why are you throwing them all away? And the answer to that is, right now, uh, we have 11.85 damage. When we get Dank Judas, we're going to have a lot more. And I know that we got Bloody Lust doing its thing right now, uh, but you don't even know, okay? We are about to become one true gods on this run once we kill ourselves this one last time. So, cool. Tears upgrade, damage upgrade, 20 damage right now. We're now Dank Judas. Uh, and apparently this is how you win runs on this modded series, is you just become Dark Judas. So we got 2 HP, that's 2.5 HP now. Ace of Hearts. And we have Curse of the I Can't See My Health. It's honestly not really the worst one to know right now, because we have 2.5 hearts. I can remember that. Uh, now, once I get hit, it's all going to go out the window. But listen to this strategy, okay? Let's not get hit. How does that sound, huh? You like that idea? Because I can get down with that idea. Let's just not get hit. Uh, and then we don't have to worry about what our HP is at. We just know that it's at two and a half. Uh, and we can move on with our day. Knowing that uh, we're beautiful people and life is fantastic. Now, 8.85 damage without any bloody lust bonus. That's like really good for the third floor of the game, man. Uh, deals with the devil so far in the modded series have been top tier and i know they won't be forever we're gonna get some runs that are just so crappy uh that it's gonna kill me inside but my goal for this series i want a 20 game winning streak which means that we're gonna have to what is this, this is borderline oh boy well now we got some interesting stuff crack a lacking in here uh let's come in here let's take uh charge baby i like charge baby as an item honestly I don't really care for the fact that we're holding on to, uh, the damn... By the way, Char uh, Borderline is a mod by Lord Melon. I remember that. Uh, and it does exactly what you're seeing right now, which is kind of dope. There's a mod spotlight for you. You can go check it out. But, uh, it scares me out a little bit that we're holding on to, um, Plan C right now. And I would really like it if we weren't. So the sooner I get myself a... Spacebar item, the happier I'm going to be. Because right now, I'm a little sketched out. Uh, HP, I will take. I know it's a speed down, but I still think this is the right move. And this is just, you know... The damage is going to be nice here, eventually. And honestly, it's still already very good. But Borderline has the potential with some good synergies... Uh, to really pop off for us. So we get a deal with the devil. We have red HP. But frankly, I don't really think either of those are worth it. So let's just head down. Um, I did go to the item room and I did go to the shop. So I feel fine about that. Flooded Caves 2. What do we got in here? Three sacks. Might be worth it, honestly. And I think I do take the speed upgrade. And then we'll get out of jail free in here. Which actually does not open up the door. Fun fact. I feel like that's probably something it should do, but oh well. I just ruined an opportunity to have a free out-of-boss rush experience. Get it? It's like an out-of-body experience, except boss rush. Okay, Tyler, your jokes suck today. I can respect that. Just continue on here. Uh, Borderline is going to give us a little bit of lag. Uh, it's just the nature of the item and how it works. There's a lot of tears on the screen. But frankly, I'm still pretty hyped about it. This was a pretty fun mod when we played it. 
Uh, and I'm excited to see if we can get some more synergies with it to really make the run uh, pop off here. Because it's already popping, we just got to get it to pop off. And apparently the flooded caves uh, cause a little bit of lag in the modded series, so... That's not helping this floor either, but it's really not that bad. Still definitely playable, uh, as we are playing right now. Hopefully it's watchable. Okay, take shoop to whoop I now can put my thumb back on my spacebar. I've literally had it hovering above it uh, this entire time. Because I just knew that I was going to accidentally pop it. Uh, and that was going to result in a real bad time for us. So, I'm content with shoop to whoop shoop to whoop is a good spacebar item, honestly. Tonsil is not a great trinket. It's basically just an orbital blocker thing and stuff. So, take your bombs... Take the money and run. Uh, go to our go to our arcade. I don't really think we need to. Like, what the hell do we really want in our arcade right now? We can't really play a blood. I mean, we can play it now. Sure, we'll play the blood bang for a little bit. It puts our damage up as well uh, because of the whole Sam Samsung thing. Because of the whole Samsung thing. And we might as well use Shoop to Whoop uh, as often as we can. We get a charge on it. Uh, pretty much every room a lot of the time if we got big rooms, otherwise every two rooms. So utilize it when you can. Jumper cables. Um, I don't necessarily think jumper cables is what we need. PhD though, uh, it's hard to not justify a PhD uh, pickup on a run because it's only going to benefit you. So when we have money to spare uh, and don't really have anything to use it on right now, you might as well roll with it. Dogtooth is also okay, uh, as long as I can hear the howls of the blue corn moon and ask the grinning bobcat why he grins. Can you paint with all the colors of the mountain? Can you paint with all the colors of the wind? And there's something like that in there. Can you show me the secret rooms and also the... The... Uh, can, can you show me a damage upgrade and also the secret rooms? Can you howl whenever there is one nearby? Such as what you just did. Will you show me everything that I will need to know? Can you take me to the super secret room for two black hearts? Okay. That's good. Uh, let's go fly a kite up to the highest height and just absolutely Rochambeau Gertie with Shoop the Whoop. Uh, the higher damage we get, the better Shoop the Whoop becomes. I don't actually know if that's true, but I'm going to assume it is. Uh, okay, and now we got Paint Bombs. We also get the Void. Do we want the Void? Honestly, I think we just want Shoop the Whoop. And holy crap, uh, that was awesome. I totally forgot we picked up Paint Bombs for a second. Let's head down. Uh, this is going to be Swell for me. This is a fun run. Oh, I forgot about uh, the damn thing that's been doing the thing and the stuff and the things and the stuff. Paint is so uh, super awesome, super dope, is what I was going to say. And then I was like, people are probably tired of me saying dope. Uh, but, you know, what kills me only makes me stronger. Puberty. We're one puberty away from uh, the adult transformation. Which, all things considered, is a pretty bad transformation, but... It is a transformation nonetheless, so I have to, you know, be a little bit excited for it. It's like when you get the Bob transformation. Uh, you're like, okay, I, I honestly don't need this. It's like when you get a birthday gift, and it ends up being something that you're honestly just going to throw in your closet and then never use for the rest of your life. But you still appreciate it because at least that person cared enough to get you a birthday gift. You know, at least they remembered it was your birthday. You know, they could have... You know, sent you uh, a happy... What is this? Book of Ruth. Oh, I know what this does. Okay. Uh, we can trade red hearts to get... Why did I just get BFF? Does Book of Ruth give you BFF? That is so overpowered. Um, it'll give you... Or does it only give it when... Yeah, okay. So it gives you BFF when it... Okay, well now I think I broke it. Does it give you BFF when it's in your hand? I have no idea. All I know is we can trade red hearts for familiars. 
So we got the conjoined transformation by popping it once. Uh, and they stay forever, I'm pretty sure. And I think the Alger's Rune is what we want here. So you know what? I can get down with that. Uh, conjoin. Oh my god. Welcome to the lag machine. I'm going to be your host, Mr. Lag. Uh, I couldn't be happier about this. This is going to be a frustrating thing for you guys to watch. Because uh, we're about to enter not just the Twilight Zone, but the lag zone. Is it amazing? Yeah. I mean, this is a good, good synergy, which is resulting in a lot of beautiful damage. Um, but the lag is going to be there. There's no denying that. And this is our super secret room. I never would have guessed. But I heard the wolf cry, so allow me to enter. Enter Sandman. Da -na 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 -na. Da -na 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 -na. Okay. I have not listened to Metallica's Enter Sandman in quite some time. What do we got in here? Dull Razor. I mean, to be fair, Dull Razor is really good with Samson. I think it's good enough, honestly. Uh, pop this. Oh, I'm so stupid. That's okay. Uh, we got a tears upgrade from it, which frankly is probably like the worst thing we could get, but just hurt yourself now uh, to get the benefit from the thing and the stuff. You know, the higher damage we got, the happier I'm going to be. Uh, we can take this Alger's Room, which is why it wasn't the end of the world that we turned it into flies. But then let's just continue on here. Uh, pop down a bomb right here. Cricket's head? No, just a bomb back. Take one step and bomb it back. Samson got the beat to make the booty go smack. I don't really need 10 bombs right now, especially to fight a room I don't really want anything to do with. So just cut me a little bit of slack. We're not going to do that room. Uh, and then Dull Razor is super dope with an orbital. Uh, obviously, if we can get all the other items needed for the greatest synergy of all time, it'd be super swell as well, but we're not going to get that, so don't get your hopes up too, too high. Damage is starting to get to a point where I'm kind of like, okay, Tyler, you're, you're reaching a point of the run where there's too much damage. Look at how many tiers are on the screen. Borderline's kind of dope. Uh, HP right before I deal with the devil. We already have a rotten baby. Do we want a second one? Of course we do. Uh, and then let's just head on down. This is a unique run so far. Book of Ruth giving us the conjoined transformation along with borderline just doing this uh, is a good time. And honestly, the lag has kind of subsided from it. I don't know what I did. You stick with Yera? Let's stick with Yera. Uh, could be weird. Ancient Recall, give me some uh, beautiful stuff. Dice Shard. Perthro, Ace of Cups. I have no idea what this does. Sure, it converted some stuff to a Spirit Art. Why not? Now, uh, we will keep advantage of the fact that we have Perthro and a Dice Shard. We can try and get some dope items from an item room. Let's honestly, let's just carry Perthro for now. Uh... Dice Shard and, uh, not Dice Shard, Yera is definitely more of something that we take on the way out of here to utilize in something like the chest, honestly. And this is always going to be a must-do. Cricket's head is going to be so stupid, holy crap. Uh, that's, like, really good. We get Guppy's head, uh, which is one Guppy item away from everything I've ever loved. And, oh, holy crap, we have to do it. I'm sorry, Dull Razor, you've done a good due diligence for us, but when the Tammy's head tears all do borderline, that just results in, like, constant hell everywhere. Okay, you know what? I know it's the secret room. I'll go to the damn secret room. Are you happy? Okay, I'm happy as well. One up is cool. Uh, had not an item that I barely, I literally barely ever get it. So I'm happy to have it. Uh, and then it also puts us... Two mushrooms away from the fungi transformation, which it's hard for me to care about right now. But if we were to get in a position where we needed HP and also didn't have... Or if we get in a position where we can take two mushrooms, then why not? A lot of good stuff here, honestly. I'm going to take more options, even though that literally is the stupidest idea for me. 
Even though there is still a item room here. So maybe this is not stupid. Maybe this is actually very intelligent. Are we going to try and do boss rush? I'll be honest with you. I don't really think so. Um, just because I would want a legitimate... Wow, we wasted a key right there. But we got a million keys. Doesn't really matter. Uh, we need a legitimate like teleport... Am I really about to take number one with this? Yes. Uh, I would want a legitimate teleport card to get us back onto the floor. Oh my god, dude. Uh, just so that we can take that Yara rune back. Although I suppose we could just take the Yara rune right now. We used the per throw. Do we care about Dice Shard? I also know that the Super Secret Rune was in there. I kind of lost care. Let's go get the Yara rune. I don't even remember where it is. It's up over here. Okay. We'll take the Yara rune. It's just because, you know, the chest with the Yara rune is a lot of fun. Uh, Perthro is still nice. You know, Dice Shard has its benefits, but we don't necessarily need it. Plus, let's be fair, we don't really need a whole hell of a lot of anything on this run. Uh, our damage is reaching a point where it's just borderline stupid. And basically, we can fire at the wall and knock out Mom in a couple seconds. The lag is amazing. Uh, take the Polaroid. Come in here. Twisty Toony Fork. I, I would love to use it right now, but I honestly think we have something better going right now with our Tammy's Head Crap. Uh, I mean, I'll be honest with you. I want multiple items here. But I think Rain Boots gives a really stupid synergy. Like, there's going to be puddles everywhere. And then we're just going to be able to step in them everywhere. And then those are going to borderline. And then, holy crap, dude. Yeah, this, this is what you call power on a run. That's pretty cool. Uh, it's also just fun in general. So it's hard for me to be like, you know, I'm having a terrible time. This is, this is a boring uh, excursion. King of Diamonds. Well, there goes the Era Rune. Turned it into coins. I don't know what some of these cards do. These are cards from... It's a More Cards mod by uh, a guy in my Discord. He also made the Liquid Sim mod, uh, which I believe will be... The mod spotlight for that will be out by the time uh, this video comes out. But definitely a fun time. Just wanted to add uh, just a little extra uh, to the game by adding some extra uh, cards. And so far, it's done just that. The fact that I can't really see myself... The Curse of Darkness is making this, like, extraordinarily difficult uh, for me to see. Plus the fact that, like, my tears are making it incredibly difficult for me to see. Because I generally have no idea what's going on 99% of the time. That makes me happy. Like, you know, runs where you literally can't see the screen because of your tears. You usually have power. Uh, and that is exactly what we have. We have power, but... Still, a uh, little bit weird. Am I about to take technology and ruin this? Yeah, let's do it. Let's see what happens. Instead, we just have less tiers, more technology laser. This was probably like a really bad synergy for us, like a bad item to take. Uh, but maybe it'll save my FPS ever so slightly, and that has benefits. The damage is like okay. I would go in and remove it, but honestly, I expected Borderline to maybe synergize with technology. I'm not going to remove it. That would be a little bit cheaty here. I'll only ever remove something if we lose a really good synergy. Like, accidentally take Mom's knife thinking it'll synergize. That's one that I don't think anybody would get mad at me about. I'm never going to make myself better by removing something. If I make myself worse, then that's my own damn fault, frankly. Tammy's head also got worse as well. Uh, it's unfortunate, but oh well. There's a Tinted Rock in here, which I'm going to crack into. Uh, one Spirit Heart. It's better than nothing. I wouldn't have minded a beautiful Queen of Diamonds. Double Floor Pickups? I don't know what these things do, honestly. We'll figure it out in due time. Remind the due time. All I know. 
Time is a valuable thing. Watch it fly by as the pendulum swings. Watch it tick down like the end of the day. The clock ticks like the wave. It's so unreal. Okay, I can stop rapping uh, Linkin Park now. It's one thing that you probably never wanted to hear me sing. Ow. A deal with the devil here puts us in a sticky situation because, you know, our HP is not exactly high. If you're wondering, are we going to do the hush fight? The answer is no. I'm honestly scared with the amount of tears on the screen what my game would turn into. My computer might honestly just turn into a baked potato. So, we're going to abstain from that. No deal with the devil. Let's head down. And by down, I mean up uh, to La Cathedral and see what's crack lacking in here. We're going to take the spirit heart. That's for damn certain. Uh, Wheel of Fortune provides us with an item on the next floor. So we'll take that. Uh, other than that, just allow me to get on with my life and continue this little thing called what in the world is spazzing out on the ground right there. There are technology puddles because of rain boots. They've thought of everything, man. That is so absolutely phenomenal. I thought it was just a graphical glitch. Nope, that is just a really awesome addition by that mod. Rain Boots, props to you, man. Props to freaking you. That's pretty damn cool. Now, these uh, extra borderline tiers, I uh, maybe they are putting puddles down? I thought they weren't for a second there, but maybe I'm totally wrong and they definitely are. There are a lot of puddles on the ground, so maybe they definitely are. I don't know. Frankly, what do I know at this point? All I'm here for is playing Isaac uh, and commentating my life to you guys. Small rock? No small rock. Spirit heart. We probably should be wanting spirit hearts more than small rock at this point. Uh, we are a little bit low on the old HP, but we do have one up, uh, which will save us once. Do I want to be saved? I mean, because maybe you're going to be the one that saves me. But I honestly, like, I don't really want to be in a position where we end up using one up on this run. I would rather live and be happy with living. Uh, you know what? I will go use the fool in here. There's some sacks that could contain something good. Like a king of cups. Okay, yeah. That is definitely not what I should have done. Now my teleport's gone. Thanks a lot, game. Hey, stupid. You should have realized the King of Cups is going to not give you what you want here. You know what? Maybe I'm not stupid. Maybe I'm just dumb. Okay, we actually like came out of that way on top. We all the way top. It also just converted like everything on this floor into spirit hearts. That's really good. Uh, and I just heard a puppy pup, so here's our... Secret room? Apparently not. How about down here? Okay. How about over here? Okay, how about over here? What in the world? Is there a crawl space in here? What do you want to bet? Would you look at that? Apparently pup pup memes... Memes? Apparently pup pup memes. Why not? Sure, I'll take Leo. Uh, it's not good, but... Why not take it for the memes? Pup pup memes. Why not take it for the pup pup memes? Coming to you live from New York. Saturday night live. Okay. Let's find our way to Isaac. We've like explored the entire cathedral, which is probably the last floor that I want to explore the entire thing. We're now getting black hearts and spirit hearts like it's our job though. Uh, I'm a little bit confused, but I'm not going to complain. Maybe that's king of... Uh, the cup song coming in clutch, but what do I know? You guys can screw off over here, honestly, though. Please allow me to deal my damage like there is no tomorrow. Come up. Get the hell up. Says my father every morning as I get ready for school. I'm kidding. <laughs> I don't even go to school here. Okay, uh... Tinted Rock, I appreciate it, but it'd be super swell if you would just pop out Small Rock. Hey, stupid, stop complaining about your damage. You got freaking 8.61 damage, plus conjoin, plus borderline, plus, plus a 4 rate of fire. 
Okay, we're actually at full spirit hearts. Holy crap, dude. Uh, I don't know if King of Cups literally just made my life the easiest thing ever. Uh, but something happened on this run that benefited me immensely. And I'm very happy about it. Well, we'll just sit here and allow our shots to Rochambeau Sir Isaac Newton. Uh, and then stand in the corner. Good night. I don't appreciate the spiders that popped out, but they're also now dead, so it's hard for me to complain. Uh, we're one couple hits away. Good night, Isaac. Uh, have a nice day, my dear friend. I know we forgot that Wheel of Fortune card from somewhere, uh, but if you honestly think that I'm going back and getting that just to get, like, Lost Bud or something here, uh, you're high as a kite. That's Lilium Dementium? Which is going to give us ghosts occasionally. Uh, it's only fair that I go and uh, talk about this mod. Because we have not done a mod spotlight on it. Lilium Dementium. This is a mod by Saint Gibbonus. Uh, and it has enemies have a chance to turn into a ghost after they die. Uh, they don't get hit and they fight for us for a while. So it's kind of a cool item. Uh, and this is actually Attractive Buddy. Which is basically Merp. If you remember Merp from uh, Genesis Plus. So, Attractive Buddy is a mod by Skaze, and I'm guessing Ashkate. No, just Skaze. Okay, uh, that's fine. And it basically is Merp. So, I hate it, but it's only fair that I included it. And then Dr. Fetus, uh, yeah, I would love to take that right now. It would probably ruin my game. Uh, and you know what? In that case, I'm totally going to do it. Th this can only end poorly, but I have to take the opportunity for high rate of fire can join oh my god dude it's gonna be so bad yep i have ruined life the colors are amazing but this is not okay this is what happens uh when you take dr fetus in this mod pack especially when you have pika paint uh and then on top of that you have a high rate of fire okay uh i'm going at a solid four fps right now I'm going to do us all a solid, remove Dr. Fetus, and then just continue my life. A lot of people are going to be like, Tyler, why did you remove it? Are you freaking looking at it? I had to remove it or else you all are going to be watching Windows PowerPoint 2017. Windows PowerPoint? Microsoft PowerPoint? Same thing, really. Microsoft and Windows have a hard-on for each other. Okay, well, we'll... We'll continue this run here. There's so many puddles. I just want to step in all of them. Merp, if you can stop pulling us in. Merp is also, like, causing a lot of lag, but what you gonna do? We're never gonna call that attractive, buddy. That is Merp now. Merp ruined my life way too much for me to call this thing attractive, buddy. What a good time. This is just a fun run. A uh, lot of good synergies. A lot of modded items. A lot of just good time in general. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm acting like the run's over. The run ain't over yet. The run ain't over until the fat lady to sing. So, you know, your mom. Uh, but we need to find our boss fight and we need to take care of it before Tyler calls it a day. I mean, there's your Wheel of Fortune. I hope you're happy, commenter that said I forgot it. I hope you're happy. Magician will pop it on uh, our final boss here. I don't even... I feel like it's going to be stupid powerful. Just, yeah, pop, pop that. Take one step and pop it back. Why did I come in here? Because I wanted to make the booty go smack. Alright. Our boss fight's got to be to the right. Am I right? Get it? Am I right? Okay. Bad jokes are starting to go. This is what happens when you record three Isaac episodes in a span of a couple of hours not the end of the world there's super secret rooms in here uh which is now nowhere to be found okay yeah uh merp makes placing okay you screw that we don't need it uh do this and then do that and then let your technology laser do its thing fire in some shots we're not gonna die here uh the run is over it's just a matter of officially ending him finish him are you done yet? You're done. Okay. Thanks a ton for watching. If you did, remember to leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. Every like tells me how much you guys are enjoying the modded series. I know I'm enjoying it a lot, uh, as it is a ton of fun. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good day, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.